I'm Ian McIntosh. You're watching Behind the Line, Magic Kingdom. Yeah, but look at that face. What were you pointing at? That spine face right across there. The little one right there? No, next back. Macintosh and I had seen this zone that only had like two lines on it and they were pretty big, looked pretty steep, had a bunch of flutes on them. I was like, oh my God, I wonder if that even gets light. Like, is that gonna be skiable? Like, all these things started running through my head. And then at the end of one day, I had our pilot Teague fly around to see if these lines were actually getting sunlight on them. and. We came around the face and it was just getting light. I was like, okay, we're gonna try and make this happen. On Max's last day, things just kind of lined up. We flew around to what we eventually called Magic Kingdom and we landed and of course it didn't have light at that point in time, but we knew in about 15 minutes it would. We haven't even really seen these lines in good light other than like this one little photo I had. And you know, when the light's not shining on a line, you can't really pick out like what it exactly looks like. So it's really hard to kind of make a game plan on how you're gonna ski it. Full on. All right, I'm scared now. <laughs> I'm scared now. Can you see down? I can see to the tip of my crux. Okay, tech nar. Yeah, I got some piecing together still to figure out how to can get into this thing because it's like straight above it. We could barely see down the tops of our lines. Both of them kind of had blind rolls about like a third of the way down. Looking down, I definitely was pretty gripped. I just got this little mini wind skin to slab out. You may want to just kick that off before you even go, you know? The slough was moving fast. I started a little slough and it went and just That was only from this one little skiff. Eventually the light came around on it, the heli fired up. Okay, Mac, we're gonna go live. Yeah, Mac, just ski it nice and good. Yeah, buddy, you too. Yeah, Mac dropped in and I had this moment of watching him disappear over the edge. I knew that when I went where the line just rolled over, and I knew that was gonna turn into like this really knife edge ridge. As soon as I could see the line, I was like, oh yeah, this thing is even knifier than I thought. But I knew if I stayed on it, that my slough would be on either side of me and I'd have a clear shot to the bottom. Sure enough, I just see billows of slough pile out the bottom. I'm like, whoa, where is he, where is he, where is he? And finally he comes out in the middle. Whoa, Mac, holy sh heavy. All right, he made it. I did one more turn and I, I probably should have just kept it going because right then and there I saw my one slough pass in front of me and I had to kind of like straight line right through it, hit me in the face like a big shovel full of snow. Woo, in one piece, yeah. And skiing out the bottom of that, I was just like stoked and excited and pumped, but you know, my buddy's still up there, so I'm not gonna get that pumped until he's down here with me safe as well. So I kind of wanted to keep it slow in the start and keep the slough going left, but as soon as I dropped in, things were moving fast and slough was already kind of both sides. And I just make fall line turns as fast as I can down. Watching Sage ski it, I was like on the edge of my seat if I had one. And all of his slough's pouring over the top as he's turning underneath. And it lands like pretty much right on the tails of his skis and he's rocketing out over the Bergstrom. <laughs> oh my God, dude! Wow! Sage, it's <laughs> been a, a trip and a half, buddy. Oh, I had dude. so much fun oh, trying to I love go. being in the mountains with you, man. That was fucking nectar, dude. Holy sh. Sage, you gotta save that one, buddy. That was a magic moment. A magic moment that had built for the whole trip and built with that camaraderie of Macintosh and I. There's a lot of emotions go into these lines and a lot of fear and anxiety and, and planning to make it all go down and to have it all work out perfectly and to be at the bottom safe with your buddy after you both just shredded it. I mean, that's where we got the name Magic Kingdom from because it was truly a magical experience. Yeah.